Brando on YouTube. Welcome to working on my old truck. Horns are mounted. They do work. Give you a demonstration. All four tones are working. Beautiful. Cadillac horn. Love it. Uh, wait for the grill to show up. Put the red lights around. Probably going to show you those again. Silver. This will be out a little bit more, but yeah, I'm going to be updating the front end of this thing a little bit newer model year, but uh, <coughs> the grill is still on order. Should have been here Thursday or Friday. Today is Sunday. It's not here yet. It's still in shipment. They had some nasty weather back in Ohio, but uh, whatever. It'll show up when it shows up. Uh, but while we're waiting for that, the bumper, the bumper's looking a little ratty, it's got uh, some rust forming in spots, cuff marks, it's a little dirty, I think we're going to pop this off, clean her up and give her a coat of paint, so I've got the bolts sprayed, we're letting them soak for a little bit, and uh, we'll be, uh, popping this bad boy off here today. I've got to get a spot cleared out for painting it. But uh, we can work on that as we see fit. The plates have stepped on a few times, but, but yeah, the winch, I pulled the winch off to get the grill out, so. It is what it is. I think we're going to be all right, so. We'll let things soak a little bit, then we'll come back and uh, start wrenching. Oh, I got my remote this time. <laughs> so I don't have to walk up to the camera every time. So, alrighty, here we go.
All right, the bumper's off. I've scrubbed her down. Even hit it with some scotch bright to uh, get the big stuff off, but we'll let her dry, figure out where we're at. It's a good thing we're doing this now. We've got some uh, primer poking through in some spots. I've never sprayed this bumper, so. But uh, we'll hit up the brackets here real quick, too, I think. I probably just wash them. I don't think I'm worried about painting them, but scrub them down a little bit. A lot of mud up on the front end of this thing from playing. Looks naked on the front. And poor old truck. Yeah, source out some white paint and try to fix this fender up too. It's flaking off pretty bad. Oh well. 32 years old. Guess I can't complain. It's the only spot it's peeling. The other side's looking good. So I don't know if that was a respray at one time or whoever painted the, the, the left front fender shop, they uh, didn't do as well as they should have, but whatever. I think it's past his warranty. So we're gonna let that dry. We'll grab me some lunch. Charge the camera up a little bit, and uh, we'll be back. Woo! Well, we're going to end today's video. The bumper is off. It is not dark outside. The lights are on. Well, it's dark. Yeah. Uh, the bumper is inside. Kind of clean the table off a little bit. This stuff can go. So, we need to stand still again for that beast. I don't know when the bumper will be here. Iron bumper or grill. No updates, but uh, yeah, it was a productive weekend. So, we got a little bit done on this. I went ahead and just spritzed the bottom of this. It was just surface rust. Uh, pretty much everywhere else kind of got the outside edges of the, these. were all pretty rusty too, but uh, I need to find my little uh, I can put the pads on. On the little uh, angle grinder there. I don't know what I did with it, but you know, you see my garage and all the garbage and piles of stuff. But I actually threw quite a bit of stuff away, almost a full, a little full trash bag full. So we'll uh, work on this throughout the week, maybe before work. Come out here and do a little clean up and see if I can dig around. Once I find that, then I can start taking care of all this big scaly stuff. And this over here. Paint's just flaking right off. Need to get in there and clean all that. Hit it with the rust converter primer. Stuff seems to be pretty good. Rust reformer. So, but uh, we'll uh, clean it up first. Get the big stuff off. And uh, yeah, maybe we'll even clean up the winch a little bit too. But it's the end of the day. Stereo gets turned off. And uh, I'm gonna shut her down. I don't know what time it is, but it's uh, it's late enough. Time to go inside and work on this cold. I was gonna say even if I had the, the uh, adapter, I could put it in the cordless drill too. But I don't know what I did with it, so it's around somewhere. I think I had I used to have two of them. But oh well, we did a little bit of cleanup. Got the bumper off the truck. Fiddled farted around the jimmy a little bit. This weekend got the horns hooked up and working right and on the 84 we're making progress projects all this week's supposed to be pretty nice so unfortunately I will be in work inside all day <laughs> oh, excuse me go pop a couple of pills and kick back and call it a night. So we will we'll catch you all later. Thanks for following along. Oh, did I hit the button on the car? I must have. The lights are on. Oops. We're locked. I got keys to just about everything in my pocket right now. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, 
I don't know, maybe we'll do a time lapse or something once I get the parts to so I can continue on and get grinding. Oh, maybe I'll just swing by Harbor Freight too. They had a little kit there that I was eyeballing. Pick their stuff up and but anywho, let's uh, end this. We'll catch y'all later. I'm gonna go inside and edit some stuff. Got three, four different videos put together for this weekend. So this being one of them, this is probably the last one. May not even see this till almost next weekend. Whoa, time travel. It's a wonderful thing, huh? But anywho, we'll catch y'all later. Be good. Bye bye.